amazing audience. Thanks for the big applause there. Life can be a frozen ice unless you decide to make ice pops of it. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ravi Kadra, CEO and co-founder of Skippy Ice Pops. Uh, firstly, thank you to Geetam and TEDx for inviting me here on this dais. Uh, pretty excited to share my life experience. And I'm just hoping that somewhere down the line, through what I say today, I will be able to impact your life in a better way. So let me start off my journey uh, from where I began to where we have reached today. And of course, during the course of this discussion today, I'll be uh, probably pointing towards few important values, seven important values that have actually inculcated in my entire life journey, which probably made me what I am today. Whether big or small doesn't matter, but this is what I have become today. So let me start off. My journey started off in a school called All Saints High School. Not really great in academics, to be honest, but I always had those passion to raise the bar and do something different, which eventually turned out to be a habit to become the class monitor, the class leader. And then gradually these habits started to inculcate more and more. And one fine day, for a school of 4,000 students, I saw myself being called the school leader of All Saints High School. That was an achievement which I really cherish all my time because that was a moment where I believed that I could do much more than what I've been made to do. I decided to continue this journey with my 11th and 12th from St. Mary's and one fine day, having a discussion with my father, I told him that, Dad, I would like to try something different, something unique which probably our family has never touched upon. I wanted to get into modeling. And without hesitation, my father told me that, Ravi, if you want to do it, do it, but if, make sure that you swim across the ocean and don't give up while you're trying to do so. And then my journey in modeling started off. I did more than 100 fashion shows across India, across international uh, platforms as well. I made sure that I kept trying and trying, which comes to the first value Aim for the sky, so at least you will fall on the ring, on the treetops. Aim for the sky, so at least you will fall on the treetops. This is exactly what my father told me, that you will have to continue trying and aiming for the higher skies, because sky is the limit. But doesn't mean that you're going to be reaching the skies on day one. It will take you some moments, some energy of your life, to actually to reach to where you are. Modeling gave me that exposure which I had always wanted to have. Try to do multiple things. Eventually, my six years of hard work made me even participate in Grassim, Grassim Mr. India, turning out to be uh, receiving an award for the best dressed male model in 2003. After Grassim Mr. India, that was not it. I have been continuing to pursue my, my career, putting every heart and soul of mine into it, trying to do my level best. And then came the turning moment of my life which really was the pinnacle of the moment I tried to do is acting. Lucky for me, my hard work really paid off. And I ended up doing a blockbuster film. I'm not sure if you guys had the chance to see that. It was beyond your times. It is called 7G Brindavan Colony. Yeah. Alright, I, I guess you guys have seen it already then. It is also called as 7G Rainbow Colony in Tamil. Uh, in fact, in Telugu you will see me myself dubbing uh, uh, my, my character there. And that turned out to be a blockbuster. I really enjoyed the glamour, the moment uh, of my life there, where the recognition, the honour and the kind of efforts that I had put in actually paid off pretty well for us. Then, this is what life is all about, that we need to continue doing what you are doing today. Making sure that your efforts are always, always accounted for. After this great stint of modelling and acting, I decided to go back and do my family business, join my father in his uh, business, a traditional business. We were into manufacturing of food and beverages, a massive uh, biscuit plant that my father owned, decided to join in. That is where I learned the second value of my life. There is no replacement to persistence. There is no replacement to persistence. You need to keep working hard every day, every inch of it to reach a point where you decide that now I'll have to start doing it all over again. My family business taught me a lot of things. 
In fact, today what I do with Skippy is a lot to do what what I have learned in my past. Negotiations, understanding your team, having a clear vision of growth, handling your finances. All these are a part of what my father taught me during those 10 years. And that moment, I was probably thinking that, you know, I am probably wasting my talent, so-called talent, being in a family business. But this family values of doing the business with my father really made the fundamental foundation of what we are today. Family businesses has taught me great things. And eventually, as every young entrepreneur, as every young mind that I am seeing out over here, we always want to do something different, something unique which gives us our own recognition. And that is where I decided to get into a platform, a digital platform as my own startup. This I am talking about the year 2010-2011. And this comes to the third value of my career. Mistakes are inevitable. Don't repeat them, try new ones. Mistakes are inevitable, don't repeat them, try new ones. This is exactly what I learned through my own first startup, which turned out to be the biggest disaster of my life till date. Of course, I am hoping and I am praying not, not to have many more mistakes of these kind in the future, but you never know. So this digital platform which I, was, I had started off was called Dial Me Guru. It was to the likes of just dial back then. But as a fresh person who had just come out of family business to start something of their own, I decided to go full pace, full aggressive into the business. And that was one mistake that I learned. Never scale up too fast. That is where I went wrong terribly. And unfortunately, I lost huge amount of money, close to 1.3 crore rupees. Back then it was huge. Even today it is huge amount for me. And more than money, I lost is my pride. Every Tom, Dick and Harry started to teach me, give me gyan of business. All that 10 years of efforts that I had put in with my father's business had gone down the drain. Everyone wanted to teach me what was the right way of doing business, what is the correct way of doing business. It hurted me a lot. But then, as a strong-minded person, one needs to always understand that there's always going to be a comeback for you. You will need to go back onto the onto the values that I've talked about, the second value, you will have to be persistent. You will have to continue evolving each day. You are going to be wrong. Let's, let's not even think that there is one entrepreneur in this world who's actually not been having any kind of a uh, failed startup or a time where they have been gone through, going through a tough time. Everyone goes through a tough time. Everyone does mistakes. The most important part for all of us is how soon can we actually come out of these mistakes? How soon can we bounce back? And that is exactly what I would always want to do in my life. Continue to pursue my dreams all the time. Since Dial Me Guru, my, my first startup turned out to be a big disaster. And since everyone started to lecture me about how to do the business the right way, I was totally demotivated. But then I utilized my demo demotivation or my sadness to do something better to do something extraordinary. And like I say, the next value, which I always believe is, destiny always has a plan for you. Destiny always has a plan for you. You cannot escape what destiny has already written for you. I know it sounds a little philosophical for a lot of you, but believe me, you will understand that destiny has a plan for you. So I decided to do something different now. I wanted to increase my knowledge bank. I wanted to increase my experience, a global experience. And so I decided to move to Australia along with Anuja, my co-founder, my wife and my kids. And at that age, it might sound a little risky. You're taking your kids along with you to an unknown continent, trying to do new things, trying to learn new uh, things altogether. But we decided to do it because that was what was written in our destiny, that we had to go there and explore more opportunities. And you know, the best part, I'll tell you the background story of why it happened and how it happened. Two of my best buddies, you know, the college pass out, I'm sure all of you guys have got your best buddies sitting right next to you, am I right? So similarly, I had these best buddies who wanted to go to Australia. They reached out to my uncle who stays in Australia and said, uncle, how do I make it to Australia? We want to come to Australia. And I said, look guys, if both of you are actually looking to go to Australia, what am I going to be doing here? 
let me also apply and the destiny was both of their visas were rejected mine was accepted and that got me to australia that's why i say destiny always has a plan for you 7 years we lived in australia the idea was pretty clear and straight forward the vision was very clear that i had to work with multinational food and beverage companies to understand what they go through how is their growth process how do they come up with new products new innovative ideas how do they manage their team how do they scale their businesses anuja ended up working for the largest contract food and beverages uh, contract manufacturer in australia in the confectionery space she was doing excellently well for 7 years there i ended up working for the likes of crispy cream george western foods which are multi billion dollar uh, f&b brands in australia again work our self off the limit to make sure that we learn learn every day and then things change and again destiny had our calling unfortunately after work, working for great 7 years building our own house in australia sydney my father was diagnosed with cancer and that was the moment that really hurted me deep down in my soul and we had to just give up everything what we had built because parents are the biggest value that i have created in my life and anuja and i without thinking or even blinking for a second decided to wrap up everything within just 5 weeks of our time and moving back to india to be with our father and he has been always the motivator for me we decided to come back to hyderabad and then things started to show up differently i decided to believe in one single value that day which i want to share with you all again today is the first day of the rest of your life today is the first day of the rest of your life whenever you have challenges whenever you are restarting your life remember that this is the first day of the rest of your life you got to accept it the way it is got to understand that life has given you an opportunity to restart something new and then this is where we came down to india and the entire idea of skippy world i still remember back in australia me sitting with my cousins discussing about what the brand name should be over a dining table obviously we did not have funds to actually hire a consultant to decide a name so this is the best thing i could fit into my budget my cousins and we started to think about this name and then finally skippy turned up a, a skippy is a local name of a kangaroo kids love kangaroo subconsciously when you think about kangaroo you think about australia you think about quality and that is how the name derived out through my cousins brainstorming and then we positioned the brand in india we started off hardly had it been 5 months like they say that when you are putting your entire soul into the game the game turns towards you and makes you a winner when you put your entire soul into the game the game turns towards you to make you a winner and finally shark tank ad popped up on anuja's uh, social media handle and she told me to just fill it up and i was more than non excited to fill it up i just did it as a poke uh, you know task in my task sheet to do and uh, passed through four auditions four different types of uh, pitch performances on the camera off the camera only to realize that out of 77000 startups we were one of the 182 startups to be shortlisted to be telecasted on national television what happened that night was crazy i mean it's hard for me to define the kind of experience pressure trauma happiness everything that we have gone through as an entrepreneur comes my next value sometimes to take a bigger leap sometimes to take a bigger leap you need need to take two steps behind sometimes to take a bigger leap you need to take two steps behind because that is where the leap will be longer and higher that particular night i'm sure if few of you have watched shark tank india we were offered better valuation better numbers but as an entrepreneur i decided 
to do a great PR stunt, I would call it, where I said, let's become the first brand to have all the five sharks investing in us and create history. And that night, we did create history. Shark Tank was just a platform. What happened after Shark Tank is a completely different story. We kept working hard and hard every day. Our efforts were completely unbounded. We worked 15 hours, 17 hours a day to achieve what we are today. A lot of people told us, Ravi, you were very lucky that night to have the five sharks investing in us. But this comes to my next value which I would want to share with you all. Luck is nothing but where opportunity meets hard work. I'll repeat myself. Luck is something where opportunity meets hard work. As a student, as an entrepreneur, please put this in your mind that there is nothing called simple luck. There is people who have been prepared, who have been working hard day and night, who have been prepared completely either with their product, with their performances, with their uh, startup, and there an opportunity was waiting to happen. And that night was absolutely a great example of my quote here that luck is where opportunity meets hard work. We were completely prepared, our branding, our team, our hard work was already there. And once we got an opportunity on Shark Tank, we did not leave a stone unturned. We kept working and working and working. A team which was 14 people during the day of Shark Tank, today we are 411 people working for Skippy. And I feel proud to be representing my entire team over here. Even though these guys are working hard in the office or on the field today, I am probably sharing my experience here today. And I feel really proud that they have achieved what we have today. Skippy has continued its growth, but the values that we have always brought into the business and as an entrepreneur, the values that I have raised to myself has actually been very, very fundamental in terms of what we are building here. Like I always say, if you need to change the world, because every entrepreneur today talks about disruption, changing the world, doing something extraordinary, I say, if you want to change the world, first change the person within you. If you want to change the world, change the person within you. Because you got to be more disciplined, you got to be more hardworking, you got to be more dedicated. Otherwise, things are never going to work out the way you have planned it to be. Startups, entrepreneurship, or any journey in your life, whether you want to do a smaller business, bigger business, you want to be an artist, or anyone else, it's really important that you continue to grow and continue to pursue whatever you planned for. Thankfully, Skippy today has come out to be a brand which has reached out to 17,000 outlets, a team of 411 people, a brand which has really brought smiles on our consumer faces in literal terms and eventually Skippy will now evolve trying to be one of the largest FMCG startup companies in India very soon. And believe me, the journey hasn't been easy and it will never be easy for any one of us. It will be tough, we will be tested every time now and then and we'll have to keep proving our metal not just to others in the society or in your office, but you'll have to keep proving to yourself that every day you have grown an inch and inch better to what you were earlier. This is how I wanted to under make you understand that for me, what we have built today is not about today. It has been the 17 years of experience behind me or 14 years of experience behind Anuja who is actually we have been able to pioneer and move the process further to building a startup, what we have done today. So guys, thanks a lot for giving me your time. Appreciate your patience, especially after lunch. Uh, but yes, uh, we have got Skippy for you. Those of you who have never tried it, more than happy to please uh, try it out. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.